Hi, this is Andy, KE4GKP, and welcome back to the Ham Whisper and lesson 19 in the Technician Operator Element 2 exam. In this lesson, we go over the T6A questions, which cover electronic components. The T6A section questions deal with fixed and variable resistors, capacitors, and inductors, fuses, switches, and batteries. All right, let's get started. What electrical component is used to oppose the flow of current in a DC circuit? A resistor opposes the flow of current in a DC circuit. And if you think of resists, opposes, you have current in a DC circuit, anything that opposes or resists that current is a resistor. Now, the schematic symbol looks like this little uh, sharp edged squiggly line. Now, if you picture water rushing through a hose and you put a kink in that hose, reducing the flow of water, that's essentially what a resistor does in a DC circuit. What type of component is often used as an adjustable volume control? Now, a potentiometer is the answer on the exam. And what a potentiometer is, is a resistor which allows you to adjust the level of resistance going through the circuit. And this is essentially how your volume control works on your stereo, your radio, whatever. If you increase the volume, you are increasing the flow of current through the circuit speakers or reducing the resistance, making it louder. And the same is true in the other direction. Um, if you increase the resistance, you make it softer. Now the schematic looks like this uh, sharp edge squiggly line, the resistor schematic, with an arrow pointing at it. And that arrow pointing at the center of the resistor schematic means that it's variable. And there are different forms of this, but this is the, the schematic you need to know for the exam. What electrical parameter is controlled by a potentiometer? Um, this builds from the last question. Potentiometers control resistance. So the parameter is resistance. What electrical component stores energy in an electric field? Now, th this should be a uh, review at this point. A capacitor stores energy in an electric field. And be sure not to get this one mixed up again with energy stored in a magnetic field, which is an inductor, and is wrong for this question. So capacitors store energy in an electric field. The schematic for a capacitor looks like um, this picture on the slide here. And you see the two plates. One plate is positive, one plate is negative. A charge builds up and creates an electric field storing energy. What type of electrical component consists of two or more conductive surfaces separated by an insulator? All right, an electrical component with two or more conductive surfaces separated by an insulator is a capacitor, and this should be reviewed by now. What type of electronic component stores energy in a magnetic field? Inductance is the ability to store energy in a magnetic field, therefore the component which stores that energy is an inductor. So inductors store energy in a magnetic field. And there's several different types. There's different numbers of coils, different uh, cores you can put in them to change the, the strength of the magnetic field. The schematic of inductors is almost always looks like some type of coil. So like this picture here on the slide. What electrical component is usually composed of a coil of wire? All right, this is a review from the last question. Um, remember, a magnetic field is created by running current through a coil of wire. Therefore, the electrical component which is associated with a magnetic field is an inductor. What electrical component is used to connect or disconnect electrical circuits? And this is an easy question. The answer is a switch. Don't overthink it. A switch is used to connect or disconnect electrical circuits. And just like your light switch, it stops the current in the circuit. The schematic looks like uh, this picture here on the slide and which looks like a, a switch. Now keep in mind there are different types of switches um, but for the purpose of this exam this is the one you need to know. What electrical component is used to protect other circuit components from current overloads? Alright this is a fuse which is another easy answer. It's just like the one you have in the, your car or if you have an old house. Um, and a fuse is a small piece of wire or strip of metal that will essentially heat up and burn out and break you know, basically shorting the circuit before the circuit gets overloaded. And the schematic looks like this, basically a box with two uh, leads on the end with a little squiggly line in the middle. Which of the following battery types is rechargeable? The answers are nickel metal hydride, lithium ion, and lead acid gel cell. And this is an all of the above question on the exam. All three of these battery types are rechargeable. Lithium ion and lead acid gel cell might sound a little bit more familiar than nickel metal hydride, but all three are rechargeable, and this is something that's pretty easy to memorize. So I'd recommend memorizing it. So what battery types are rechargeable? For this question, it's nickel metal hydride, lithium ion, and lead acid gel cell. Which of the following battery types is not rechargeable? All right, so the answer is carbon zinc, and this is kind of a tough one. It's best to kind of figure this one out by the process of elimination. 
So two of the other possible answers are nickel cadmium and lithium ion. So lithium ion, you remember from the previous question, is a rechargeable battery. Nickel cadmium, cadmium or NICAD, is another type of battery similar to lithium ion that you, you find in computers and other types of electronics often. The other answer is a lead acid battery, and that's the type of battery you use in your car, and that's absolutely rechargeable. So like I said, it might be better to memorize which ones are rechargeable, but it's which ones not. Um, carbon zinc batteries are normal batteries like you would throw in a flashlight or something along those lines. So of the following battery types, the one that's not rechargeable is carbon zinc. And that's it for the T6A review. Now it's time for the quiz. So number your paper from 1 to 11. I'm going to go through the questions quickly as usual, so slow down the video by pausing it if you need more time. When you're done, be sure to go to handwhisper.com to check your answers. And with that said, let's start with the quiz. Question 1. What electrical component is used to oppose the flow of current in a DC circuit? A. Inductor. B. Resistor. C. Voltmeter. Or D. Transformer. Question 2. What type of component is often used as an adjustable volume control? A. Fixed resistor. B. Power resistor. C. Potentiometer. Or D. Transformer. Question 3. What electrical parameter is controlled by a potentiometer? A. Inductance. B. Resistance. C. Capacitance. Or D. Field strength. Question 4. What electrical component stores energy in an electric field? A. Resistor. B. Capacitor. C. Inductor. Or D. Diode. Question 5. What type of electrical component consists of two or more conductive surfaces separated by an insulator? A. Resistor. B. Potentiometer. C. Oscillator. Or D. Capacitor. Question 6. What type of electrical component stores energy in a magnetic field? A. Resistor. B. Capacitor. C. Inductor. Or D. Diode. Question 7. What electrical component is usually composed of a coil of wire? A. Switch. B. Capacitor. C. Diode. Or D. Inductor. Question 8. What electrical component is used to connect or disconnect electrical circuits? A. Zener diode. B. Switch. C. Inductor. Or D. Variable resistor. Question 9. What electrical component is used to protect other circuit components from current overloads? A. Fuse. B. Capacitor. C. Shield. Or D. Inductor. Question 10. Which of the following battery types is rechargeable? A. Nickel metal hydride. B. Lithium ion. C. Lead acid gel cell. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Question 11. Which of the following battery types is not rechargeable? A. Nickel cadmium. B. Carbon zinc. C. Lead acid. Or D. Lithium ion. And that brings us to the end to the T6A lesson. Now that you're done with the quiz, be sure to go to handwhisper.com and check your answers. You will find them under the exam answers page under the T6A link. And until next time, in lesson 20, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.